Okay, I don't want to gross you out, but there is something that you should know. You're covered in germs, your entire body, everything around you. Disgusting, yes and no. Some germs can be helpful, although some can be dangerous, very dangerous, even deadly. These are nasty germs, germs like bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and fungi. Modern medicine is pretty amazing. There are a bunch of nasty diseases that we don't even think about anymore because of the advances in science, such as measles, mumps, rubella, tetanus, polio, and hepatitis. That's because vaccines protect us. These diseases are rare, but they are not gone. So, what happens when germs invade your body? Actually, your body has two pretty terrific ways of keeping germs out of your body. One is your skin. The second way is mucus. Mucus is that sticky, icky stuff that's found inside your nose and in your throat. But sometimes, germs still get through. They still sometimes get through our mucus. They still sometimes get past our skin. They get inside our bodies. Then what happens? That's when our immune system kicks in. You know your immune system is working really hard to fight those germs. When you start to feel bad and maybe you get a fever or the chills, there's a special part of your immune system called your white cells. You have big white cells and you have little white cells. You have some white cells that actually eat the germs. Chomp, 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 chomp. And then there's this very special white cell that's called a memory cell. It's sort of like taking a picture. And if that germ comes back, it will recognize the germ and destroy it before it can make you sick. How cool is that? You see, there are some germs that are so nasty and they work so fast that our bodies can't keep up. They need help. And that's what vaccines do. They help our bodies fight off germs. Vaccines are made in laboratories by scientists, and they're made up of dead germs, or weak germs, or pieces of germs. So the vaccines themselves can't make you sick. But they train your body to recognize the germ. So if that germ gets in your body, your body will recognize it and destroy it before you can get sick. That's how vaccines work. Usually, vaccines are given with a shot. Most kids will get their shots when they are very young. Here are a list of vaccines that you will need. Talk with your provider about which vaccines you need and when you'll get them. When you get your shot, you may experience some mild side effects you may get a mild fever or a little rash. You may get some soreness at the site or some body aches or headaches. But serious side effects such as an allergic reaction are very rare. If you've had a reaction to vaccines in the past, be sure to let your doctor know. Or if you have a weakened immune system or allergy to eggs, let your doctor know. Shots aren't fun, but they're better than getting a nasty disease. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. The nurse is gonna come in and she's gonna clean your skin. If you were a baby or a toddler, she'd probably clean your thigh, but since you're a bigger kid, she's gonna clean your arm, all right? Here are some tips and tricks to help make getting a shot easier. First, try and take a really big, deep breath. <sighs> Perfect. Try and relax your arm so it's loose like spaghetti, all right? That will help it not hurt as much. Some kids like to look away and maybe look at a game or a toy. And some kids like to close their eyes and pretend they're at the beach or at the playground. Another thing you can do is squeeze your teddy bear really tight or hold somebody's hand, and that will help as well. The poke will probably feel like a pinch or maybe some uncomfortable tingling, but that will only last for a few seconds. Okay, Miss Kate, are you ready? Mm-hmm. You gonna squeeze your bear? Mm-hmm. Do you want me to count from three? No. No, okay. 
Ready? Great job. Got a minion band-aid. Would you like a minion band-aid for your bear? Mm -hmm. Okay. There, you're all done. Now you're all protected from those nasty germs. If you have any questions, please ask your nurse or doctor. We are here to care for you.